Okay. Should we start now, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, welcome to today's podcast. Today we're talking about sleep. He's go. like, um, if you sleep five to six hours every single night, you will not be alive. Your brain and body, I think. <laughs> First guy's glasses on, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Your brain and body will good. most likely shut down because of the lack of sleep. Well, that's not good. Uh, no, yeah. I just pushed the covers off and knocked myself out, says Fox Eyes. Let me, let me explain the reason why your brain cannot survive on five to six hours of sleep and why it needs eight to nine hours. All right. Your brain is like a house. Just imagine it's a house. When you sleep, yeah. It organizes, it cleans itself, whether you're rich or you're poor. If you're rich, you have people do it for you. If you're not poor, but like, if you want to do it yourself, you organize it yourself on the way you want to. And it's like a file cabinet. It organizes every little thing. That's what the brain does when you're sleeping. And um, it's like, a, yeah, it's like a file cabinet. Fixing and getting, and also it's getting ready for to organize it so it can be ready for the brand new day ahead of you so yeah. what i'm saying is when your brain goes into this sleep cycle and sleep state it's it, it's working that's how you know how your dreams come out and that's how you know you dream and all um but i'm trying to explain this in a very easy way <laughs> it's really hard <laughs> Yeah, sleep is a it's a very complicated topic. With oh yeah, how... but it's good because I'm yeah. trying to explain it in the mo in the best possible way I can. Um, but you get it. Um, when you're sleeping, the brain reorganizes itself and it cleans itself up so you can be fresh for the next day. Um, the deeper the sleep, the better you are function functioning the best day. I mean. The next day, I'm sorry. The better sleep, the better you are the next day. Um, Got anything else, Marco? Or? I have a couple more things to say. Go ahead. So, the body, not just the brain, the body in general also needs sleep. So, like, if you're working out and stuff, muscle building for muscle building Definitely. it's one it's one of the most important uh factors in muscle building just like how arnold says you need sleep and eating and in fact what what i hear that they say is that you need um it's like 30 to 4 no 30 percent working out and like 60 no 70 and 70 for percent of eating and sleeping so it's much more rest because you're breaking down the muscle fibers and it needs its rest so when you're resting it's not just your brain is organizing itself the entire body is feeling better um the reason also another reason why the body needs to be replenished and the mitochondria the powerhouse of the cell i think we all learned about this in middle school we should have um it gets charged like it's like a battery so if you were to think about it this is the mitochondria this is our body yeah see my phone is now charging now just think of it as it's sleeping it's charging right now but if i unplug it he is awake she is awake and um it's the powerhouse of the cell um and when it gets charged it feels rested and one of the other things to feel rested and to feel amazing and awake and alert is the food that you put into your body so even though if you sleep amazing but then put horrible foods in your body like donuts cookies sodas and all this other bs you not feel good you 
feel like you're sick or you feel like shit. Um, and hold on, you got to give me a second. I'm a little lost. Ronnie, have you got anything to say? Um, if you're. <laughs> I mean, if Marco has nothing else to say, I can move on to my bit. Can oh, I have my a lot. Can my fucking mouth stop? <laughs> oh, he has like... a lot, but yeah. <laughs> Did you mention the fact that we need to sleep at a certain routine? Uh, oh, yeah, I've mentioned that. Like, mentioned consistent. That. Yeah, like, if you, like, I'd say go to sleep and, like, wake up at same time. So, for example. Same time, yeah. Yeah, so, like. Go to sleep at like eight PM, for example, and then wake up at six. Uh oh, it's wake up at six AM, not PM. Uh then you'd get yourself into a routine, then like your body will get end up getting used to it, so you won't need to like keep f- like yourself knowing, alright, I'll sleep now and then like I'll wake up then. Your body will kind of just do it automatically in a way. It'll be kind of used to it. Um, well, once you've done it for a certain amount of time, that is. Uh, and then just, like, don't change it unless you absolutely need to. And then just keep it, like, optimized as well. Like, make sure you get the maximum, like, the most amount of sleep that you possibly can. That will be healthy for you and whatnot. Uh, what time do you usually sleep, then? Yeah. Uh, what time do I usually sleep? Uh... Weekdays when I have school and stuff, I usually sleep around, like, 8 to 10, somewhere, well, 8 to, like, 9.30, somewhere between there, and then wake up about 6, 6.15. Something no, like that. 6.15? When do you go to bed, <laughs> and when do you wake up? Yeah, well, I go to bed around uh, 8 to 9, somewhere like that, and then I wake up about 6-ish. Nice. No, I get, I track my sleep. So I literally ask, I ask, you know, Alexa, off. <laughs> I ask her, I'd yeah. be like, how many hours are there from here to here? So like, if I were to say, how many hours are there from nine to five? But you know, that's an eight hour shift, you know, for a job, nine to five job, that's eight hours. So if you were to do, sometimes I do, Sometimes I would do seven hours, but like, that's like danger zone type shit. <laughs> and difference uh, between seven and eight hours is quite a bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's it's that's the danger zone. Uh, time. I go to bed at twelve and wake up at seven to eight. That's folks says. That's not bad. Going to yeah. bed at twelve and then waking up. That's not bad at all. That's that's pretty good sleep. Yeah. Like but for me, gotta... I've gotten so used to wake like sleeping like on weekdays and stuff. I've gotten so used to like sleeping at six, uh, six, uh, eight to nine, and waking up at six because I need to wake up at six because otherwise, then I have an, I have enough time to have breakfast, shower, get myself ready, and whatnot for school, so then I can leave on time because yeah. I I'm a solid like 30, 30, 40 minutes away from my school or uh, on walk. So that's, that's pretty good. I need to have enough time to get out the door and get to school. You know, I think that you should avoid bright lights after, well, at least maybe like two wait. hours before you sleep. Wait, wait, wait! I have one more thing. Well, not one more thing, but this is good to help you sleep at night. So it's a thing on the phone that reduces blue light. So oh, what you do? I think I know what about. So it like kind of like makes your screen a bit of a different color. So no? you scroll down if you have iPhone. Uh, scroll down. Night light. Night shift, yeah. You go to this. Then you press this. And what this I'm does, so, so it reduces the blue light. Let me light. turn on my phone real quick. I'll do it again for you guys. I'll do it again. Good thing your right, friend so you isn't op- 60. So you open the phone. Six, then it's a 60% chance down, to die. What? Go to this. Right after that, you press this one. All of them should be on. Yeah. That's for iPhone. I'll show it for Samsung. Or at least the S10 anyway. It might be different on other Samsungs. Yeah, R60 said, good thing your friend isn't 60 because then it's a 60% chance to die. Night no, shift. Whoa, True. chill, chill. Nah, that's not cool. That's not or cool Or you can all. remove your monitor entirely. 
That's true. Yeah, you, you could just remove your monitor. Uh, for Samsung, I'll show what it is. Let me just find it real quick, just so I don't have to. Yeah, it's in the settings. Find night light, and then you turn it on after at least like two or three hours before you sleep, and then it'll. It doesn't necessarily Sam- help Samsung that much. Samsung is eye color temperature. Like a 5% so difference. for Samsung, you would just swipe down from the top, right, and then you would go here. I don't. I don't know how well you can see this. You have to lower the brightness. You have to lower yeah. your brightness, maybe, because like, that's what I did. I lowered my brightness to the extreme. Yeah, it's just like if I have it too low, you can like it's reflecting. No, as... but you could you could see the ring light. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the. You can I have see to have the... that so it actually looks decent. Hang on. Like, all right, so you would swipe down. Oh, hang on, bro. So you would swipe down on Samsung, right? So you're on this sort of menu. You can't really see it that well because my phone's not. Well, my thing's not that good. But uh, you would swipe. Uh, this is like the default thing, by the way. I haven't changed any of this. You would swipe uh, left a bit, right even. Um. Then you would click uh, this one, which is eye, eye comfort shield. You click that. And depending on the time of day, it will like change the color of like your phone and stuff. So then it's like more comfortable. For now, it hasn't really changed anything, but... Yeah. I'm going to turn my phone back off. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Uh, with sleep hygiene, um, I'd say keep everything you can clean. So, like, yourself, your room. Uh, I will give you the answer here right now. All right. Blackout curtains. Yeah. Um, weighted sheet. Um, go to bed early. Um, don't eat at 9 p.m. because your digestive system needs time it needs at least two to three hours um yeah blackout yeah. curtains weighted sheet and also get a comfortable room temperature for yourself not freezing but like a little chilly so you're comfortable in the blankets Wonderful. but uh, i mean you answer. can remove the blue light from the monitor i have that on at all times oh when it oh when you're like gaming and stuff all right Oh, cool. I mean, there's blue, there's, yeah. I think, blue uh, light glasses. I think there's yeah. glasses for that. Yeah. Uh, keep your room, like, ventilated and, like, cold-ish. Yeah. Like, not very cold, so you wake up freezing, but, like, cold make enough. It cool. Yeah. Just make it cool. Like, for me, I have to have my fan on a max setting because my PC gets really hot. So then, because I have, like, my window closed and everything, usually. So then... Like when I'm streaming stuff, outside distractions don't pick up on the mic. Uh, everything like my PC gets really warm, so my entire room, even when it's off, it's very warm. So I have to have my ma- my fan on the max volume or on the max saying. Yeah. Uh. Otherwise, like it would take this room ages to cool down. So there is that. Uh. Uh, you should definitely eat well, um, like keep a good diet because that's going to affect your bodily functions like sleeping. Uh, make sure you have a comfortable bed because if you don't, obviously if you don't have a comfortable bed, you're not going to have a good sleep. If you don't have a good sleep, um, well, you, um, you're just going to wake up tired, like maybe angry or something like that. If you get what I mean. Yeah. Uh, go to the toilet before bed. So then, like, um, I don't it, do that. Uh-oh. I usually do that just because. Um, usually, if I don't go to the toilet before bed, I end up like waking up in the middle of the night needing to use the toilet. So, yeah. I say restroom, but okay, toilet. <laughs> yep, toilet. Yep. <laughs> um. <laughs> And then hydrate as well. Um, I've just lost my train of thought. Sick. <laughs> well, why do you need to hydrate then? Um, mainly just to then like uh, 
there's still like water flowing through your body, kind of. Just I, I don't know. Just how, yeah, bloodstream. yeah, bloodstream. It's hard to describe. I literally have like the one thing. In, I should have explained it better in my notes. I literally just put the word hydrate and did not expand on it. So that helps a lot. Oh lord. Oh. Uh, Arsix just said, yeah. by the way, my comment was about the recent study linking erratic sleep to death in the next few years by like 60%. Which was relating to the good thing your friend is in 60 comment. But yeah. Uh, do you have anything, Ronan, to say? Ronnie said a lot. Okay. Well... Most people don't fall asleep because they're not tired enough, right? Also, I love the notes. And also, I love the glasses. <laughs> I love okay. the glasses. Stop. Make me blush. Come on. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> That's a good right. one. Well, people complain because they're not tired enough, right? How do you become tired? Um, for me, what I usually do, um, like for days when it's like half term and stuff, usually I try to like go out a lot and like try yeah. and do stuff that will take a lot of energy. Because then by the time it comes to going to sleep, I am already pretty tired. So then it's so much easier just to fall asleep, like to just get in bed and just fall asleep, you know? Uh, yeah. On days where it's, on days where I don't do that, uh, it's more or less just um, like I sit there or I lay, I lay in bed. Uh, I just shut my eyes and just try and fall asleep. It's nothing else really to it. It helps the body relax and it doesn't, it's not like energy anymore. It's just, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a melatonin for your body. What's the right word? There's this, there's this type of uh, thing in your brain where it just helps you sleep right away. I, I, is it melatonin? What is it? I melatonin. Know. Is it that? It produces, it does help you fall asleep and your body does produce it. That, it's so, like that. It helps the semen yeah. in your body. The no fap semen in your body helps it like increase more, so you have better and a deeper sleep. That's why I don't fap. That's why I do no fap because it helps me. So, uh, Marzix, uh, well, it's just a link, so there's many theories, but it's a higher percentage if there's any psychology issues. I believe so. Mo I believe so, mostly due to the changes of the car. car Carcadium rhythm What's affecting circadium? the processes. Carcadium rhythm affecting the processes, which is relating to his message of a uh, good thing your friend isn't 60, because then it's a 60% chance to die. I'm dying, jeez. Yeah. I mean, I'm very religious, so. And you got, I don't know, I don't think you guys are very religious, so I'm not going to get into that, because I don't think you guys want to hear me talk about that. I just want to stay on the topic. We'll yeah. cover on another topic, of course. Yeah, so. yeah of course. Yes, of course. All right, we got anything else? Or how long have we been live for? We've been live for like 43 minutes about. That's but pretty good. Not yeah. gonna lie. So answer the main question of, I don't feel tired. I can't sleep. Just do more exercise during the day. Do more physical work and mental work, train your brain, do actual like studying or something, but your brain has to work physically. Well, so no, you're, you're how, just not going to be. How can the brain work physically? It can only work oh. mentally. Work, work mentally, that's it. All right. And as, as you were saying before, the only thing that you have to do is work your ass off. It's simple. Work your ass off and don't stop from the moment you get up to the moment you go to bed. That's how you get the best night of sleep. Plus the other tips, like the accessories, blackout curtains, cool room, weighted blanket, and don't eat at 9 p.m. Eat sooner so your digestive system 
can, you know, digest the food and you can have an amazing night of sleep. Simple. Mm -hmm. It's a lot, but it's so much more simpler than it is. I mean, I do it. I don't know if you guys do it, but I do it. It's nice. Uh, is that all from us then? I think. I've, I've so, spoken my part. So what time do you sleep, Marco? 9 p.m., right? I go to bed from 9 p.m., to if i go to bed at 9 p.m i would wake up either at 5 15 or 5 30 and then if i go to bed yeah. at 10 p.m i wake up from like 6 uh 15 6 30 but if i go to bed like earlier than nine i wake up at five so like i try my best to have a clean and strict sleep schedule because when i have a clean and strict sleep schedule i feel better the next day and I can conquer the day. So, what about you guys? Uh, I want to sleep at 9 p.m., but I don't end up sleeping at 9 p.m. I know. No, it sucks for some people. I just played no, Beethoven thing... for 15 minutes, says R6. But no, one thing for me, I've learned a lot through my sleep. And what I used to do is I used to be such an idiot. I used to have my phone in my room, scrolling on TikTok to like 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night, thinking, oh, yeah, wake up at 5.30. That's definitely enough sleep. It really wasn't. Let's see. Alexa, how many hours are there from 11 p.m.? Alexa. Alexa, how many hours are there from 11 Alexa, how many hours are there from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m.? You don't want to listen to me. So <laughs> you don't want to listen to me. What's next? She's gonna act. What's next? She's gonna randomly. Me to, what's next? Me, she's gonna randomly hear. Um, Alexa, what's my address? And it's just can't sing Marco's address. No, no yeah. <laughs> when when your Alexa just breaks. <laughs> But no, should I should I ask it again? Maybe yeah. it'll give us an answer. Alexa is Giga Chad, says Zach. Should I ask you one more thing? I'll yeah. do it one more time. Yes, Zach, Alexa, I agree with you. How many hours are there from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m.? There are six hours between hey. 11 and 5 a.m. That's not Off enough. Off track syndicate, welcome to That's the stream. That's not enough. Uh, six hours. Be... What do you mean by six hours? Oh, also, how long... oh he's be... on about, uh, well, they're on about the time between 11 to 5. Uh, 11 to 5, 9 to 5. And also, the thing is, when you get less sleep, you have more brain fog, and your brain is not as sharp. So let's think of a pencil, for instance, and think of it as it is brand new. It is sharp as, it is sharp as one of those pointy plants. I don't know what they're called, but like those pointy plants. And, you know, that's, you had the best amount of sleep ever, but you're using it, you're using it, you're using the pencil, you keep on using it until it's like, there's no more uh, lead, there's no more of a pointy pencil. So then you put it to sleep. But the thing is, when you do that, it needs the sharpening. By thinking of it, by sharpening your pencil, your mind, you're getting the sleep that you need. Oh yeah, when you're thinking about falling asleep, well, don't try to think about falling asleep. Focus on thinking about like some like fantasy or like averting your attention from the fact that I need to sleep because that's going to like tell your brain and give it a little bit of sense of panic, which is not what you want before you sleep. You yeah. want to keep your stress levels low and that cortisol really low so that it doesn't like spike up and like make you fall up, like wake up. Because if you think about like ancient times, right? If if our species was getting attacked by like some like dragon, yeah, the cortisol increases. So you basically, just want to lower your stress levels. Also, with the caffeine, I think that. You should wait 90 minutes 
after you wake up before taking the caffeine. So your your brain kind of wakes up to it. And that don't take it before you sleep. And we'll see you next time. All right. Have um have a good Peace. one. Have a good one, everybody. And uh thank you for joining in on one closer and becoming one closer to grinding to the best yep. version of yourself. Yep. Peace.